<laughs> ah! No, I'm not allowed to feel any emotion, so I'll just smile and pretend everything's okay, but inside I'm mad. If you feel like that on a daily basis, you're suppressing your emotions, this EFT tapping is for you. Hello everyone, my name is Heather. Hope you're doing well. I'm the founder of Tap Into Your Magic, and this is an EFT tapping for allowing emotions. If you have been actively suppressing your emotions, whether that is you feel angry in the moment, but you pretend you're okay, or you say, yeah, that's fine to somebody, but then you go home and cry, or you just feel there's so many things inside of you that are not allowed, or maybe you only allow them in private and you don't share that with anybody else. But over time, suppressing is not a good strategy for dealing with your emotions, because emotions are meant to be allowed and expressed, and that is what we're gonna be tapping on. So let's start with the karate chop point and just repeat after me. Even though I wear all these masks, I pretend I'm okay when I'm not. I smile when I want to scream instead. I hold back the tears and I have that lump in my throat. Or I feel really, really jealous of someone and pretend that I'm happy for them. Although, you know, I am happy for them. I'm just a little bit envious. And I push all these feelings aside. I bury them deep, deep down because I don't wanna be seen as weak. I don't want to cause any conflict. I don't want to be too much for people. Because if they truly saw how I really felt, maybe they wouldn't like me anymore. So even though I've been suppressing all these emotions, I choose to love and forgive myself. Maybe this comes from my childhood. Maybe I had one parent who expressed too much anger and that taught me that emotions are uncontrollable and scary. Or maybe I had a parent who never showed any emotions. So I learned that was the way. And maybe in my life, I have exploded. I felt the rage, the envy, the tears, the fears. And I never wanna do that again. I just wanna be positive all the time. Because maybe I've told myself that's what people expect of me. but I'm choosing to let this go. I'm choosing to allow all of my emotions. So even though I've been playing pretend for a long time, I choose to love and honor myself. And I choose to love and accept all of my feelings. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, notice if you have any tingling sensation. I do, ooh. Or maybe you felt very teary, sweaty, maybe some something happened inside of you. That is a good sign the energy is, is moving through you, which is the power of emotional freedom technique. We're free in those emotions. So let's start the full tapping sequence. The start of the eyebrow is our first port of call and let's begin, just repeat after me. All this fear all this anger, all this sadness, all this anxiety, all this grief, 
all of these so-called negative emotions. I don't know who labeled them bad, but I did. But they're not going away. Because emotions are unavoidable. And I can't run away from them anymore. Maybe I've tried strategies in the past. Maybe I know exactly how to numb myself. But that isn't good for my higher self. Or my health, in general. Because I know storing away and suppressing these emotions is going to make me ill. Or it's like a volcano ready to explode. I'm constantly on temperature check control. And I don't want to suppress anymore. What if it's okay for me to express and allow all of my emotions? What am I really afraid of? Am I afraid that if I truly felt the full capacity of it, then I would be depressed forever? Or maybe I'm afraid I'll lose people in my life. I'll upset or let them down. But I'm allowed to express my emotions. Just like a baby does. I've just taught myself that it's wrong to feel. But if I suppress anger and sadness and grief, I most likely am suppressing happiness, joy and love. All of my emotions have a purpose. Anger shows me what I'm passionate about. Sadness shows me that I care. Grief showed me that I loved. Jealousy shows me what I really want in life. All the shame and embarrassment. It is safe to let it go. My emotions are just clues as to what's going on inside. I'm giving myself permission to allow my emotions. I'm allowing myself permission to express how I really feel. It is safe for me to allow my emotions. It is safe for me to feel everything because I am in complete control of how I think and feel. My emotions do not control me. So I'm making the choice to allow them all today. To stop bottling things up and wearing all of these masks. I'm allowing myself to get vulnerable. Because emotions are a beautiful thing. 
and I'm not running away anymore. I'm no longer numbing my emotions. I bring them to the surface and let them go. It is safe for me to feel. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Again, take a moment to just check in with how you're feeling and thinking. I know that it's okay for you to allow your emotions. You don't have to keep bottling it up until you explode because that's not a healthy way to manage emotions. And emotions are here every day. We're not robots. We feel, we think, and I know sometimes society teaches us we have to pretend at work and we can't cry in front of people. But if you give yourself that permission to be vulnerable with yourself and the people closest to you and allow yourself to express that emotion in a safe, healthy way, whether that's you punch a pillow or a scream into a pillow or allow yourself a good cry, allow yourself to heal, allow yourself to get the help that you need. Um, so thank you everyone for tapping along. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Maybe enjoy, it's a bit, a bit of a strange word if you feel better. Um, and just so you know, I also do personalized EFT videos and meditations on your specific problem or anything that's coming up for you. So if you'd like a personalized video, which is yours to keep forever and it's very, very personalized to you, check out my description below. I also do one-to-one -one EFT coaching as well as other things you can check out like live events um, and other ways that you can connect with me. So thank you so much for tapping along. It's okay to allow your emotions. You are safe and emotions are, like I said, a beautiful thing.